Hello, 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 and thank you for tuning in to my YouTube channel. Um, today I'm starting off with freshly shampooed hair and adding leave-in conditioner. You should always make sure that after you shampoo your hair, you always put in leave-in conditioner. Um, I'm blow drying her hair to ensure that we get it as straight as possible. So I'm using the comb attachment that comes with the blow dryer. Now you see me flat ironing the hair straight. Now it is imperative to this hairstyle that the hair be straight before we add in the braid hair. So I'm flat ironing it and then I go back around it, around the perimeter of the hair with a pressing comb to ensure that I get those edges nicely pressed and laid. So we had to change locations to finish out this video, but I already braided one side just to save some time. But here I'm using free tress braiding hair. Um, this is in the loose, deep wave style. And I'm also using shine jam gel. Um, this is very key in the hairstyle because it slicks it down and aids as a binder to keep the hair in place. So what you see me doing here is starting off the feed-in braid. If you're not sure on how to do feed-in braids, you want to start with your client's hair at the front part of the braid. You see me sectioning off her natural hair and in between my index finger and my thumb I'm adding the braiding hair. Then you'll see me stitch once, stitch twice, back the other way and once I go back the other way that's when I add a new piece of hair. So with every two turns of the braiding hair, you add another piece of braiding hair. And you want to make sure that you start off with small pieces and then add larger pieces as you go down with the hair. Now you'll see me doing this like in real time speed. This is me at real time speed so you can see exactly what I'm doing. I'm making sure I have her hair in between my index finger and my thumb. Then I add the hair extension, I stitch twice, once I'm going back the other way, I add her hair in between my finger, and then I add the braiding hair in between my two fingers. This is to ensure that this braid is tight. I don't want any loose ends, any loose sections. As you're braiding it down, you can easily skip a piece or it'll bunch up in one area so it's imperative that you kind of grab and pull it together. Now if you need your comb like I'll be doing to help assist in pulling that together and making sure it's nice and clean and uh, bind it together then use your comb. Don't be afraid to use the tools that you have to ensure that your braid looks neat and tight and put together. Now I added some more jam to my hand just to make sure that as I'm braiding it because I didn't put the jam on the ends, I only put it towards the root of her hair. So just to tame the flyaways, I added some jam to the back of my hand so as I needed to tame the flyaways, then I would just add that to her hair. Now I was having a little issue with the grip right there so I had to take it out and try it again. But as you see me doing. I'm making sure I grab all the loose pieces and push down the parts that I don't need at this moment and I'm turning and I'm turning I'm detangling it and making sure I tame the hair before I add a new piece and you're just gonna keep doing that for the full length of the braid
now that I've braided fairly all the way down the hair what you see me doing is making sure that I get all those loose ends because this part is just as important as the beginning because you don't want those randomly stray hairs to be picking out at the end of the braid and it just looks totally messy so as I'm going down I'm ensuring that I get all those little flyaway pieces laid down towards the end of the braid now because of this hairstyle calls for the ends to be loose you need to make sure that you braid past your client's hair you want to make sure you braid a little past the client's hair but still have enough room to have that big fluffy curly look at the end now I chose free tress hair because it was already curled but you can use regularly straight hair or human hair and just curl it at the end but I took the fast and easy approach and got already pre-curled hair that way it'll maintain its curl without having to style it every day now here you just see me getting rid of the extra long pieces I don't necessarily want it even but I don't want some long pieces some short pieces I'm just kind of like slide cutting into it so it's not so blunt and just take those randomly long hairs away now I'm adding some shine because I don't want it to look dry I want it to look a nicely polished and I'm combing out the deep wave hair because I want to add volume to that area so I'm just breaking up the curls a little bit so it's not so put together and I want it big and fluffy Now what you see me doing here is I'm taking just a small slither of hair and I am separating it from the rest of the hair and I'm going to wrap it around that rubber band. This is what I chose to do to conceal the um, one part from the other. Now you can do this any way that you choose but I chose to just take a small piece of hair like you would if this was a ponytail and just wrap it around the braid and just keep wrapping until you get to the point where it's kind of small and then you'll tie it in a knot to secure it it's behind the hair so no one will see the knot and then I take some pump it up spray and I'll just spritz that part so it'll hold but make sure that you just polish the hair get rid of all of the little loose pieces you don't want any flyaways so you see me cutting it away um, my camera decided to cut off and what I did was while the camera was off I just took the pump it up spray and kind of like laid down any type of flyaways that I seen within the hair in the middle so I used the pump it up spray to freeze it and then I went back over it with the blow dry to ensure that it stayed in that spot now I'm not a stickler for baby hair I am kind of totally against baby hair but what you see me doing here is kind of like laying her edges just a little bit I am NOT a fan of the baby hair so you probably won't see me do too many styles here on my channel with baby hair or extreme baby hair I'm just like adamantly against the baby hair look to each their own this is a teenager so she probably would love extreme baby hair on her head however me as the hairstylist I just can't do it y'all some of y'all out here with the finger waves in the front and I just can't do it to nobody if you go home and I do your hair and you want extreme baby hair you're gonna have to put it on yourself because I'm not gonna do it myself <laughs> just saying people just saying Now I know I'm taking my time with this sideburn, but I was having a hell of a time with that one little piece of sideburn, mainly because she doesn't really have sideburns. So I was trying to create something from nothing. Hey, you, you have to do what you have to do sometime as a hairstylist. You gotta create something from nothing. And y'all, please excuse the way I'm looking. It was a long day. I had just got off of work and got out of school and had to come home and do this so yeah <laughs> it's 
excuse how I'm looking. I know I'm looking rough and I probably look mean like I'm about to whoop somebody's ass. But um, I had to make sure that I got this tutorial done. And I know she's resting in her little, her face too. But trust me, she's just sitting there waiting for the finished product. Again, guys, you want to make sure that you pay attention to the detail. When you do hair, it's all about the detail. Sometimes we stop before we get to that point, but just going back in and making sure that you detail your work, it'll make sure that you get a lot of clients. What I should have done was go back in and line her up in the back, but I didn't have, have my edgers with me to do that. But if I was doing this at the salon, what I would do is just go back and like detail her neckline, make sure she doesn't have any stray hairs back there. And that's pretty much it. So she's really feeling her hair. Kind of looking Pollyanna-ish, but you know, you got to go with the trends. You got to go with what's new. That's what your clients come to you for. They come to you for what's new and what's popping. And this is what's popping right now. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you see, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up and make sure that you just keep on coming back. You can subscribe if you'd like. I would greatly appreciate it. And be sure to leave your comments down below. I will respond to your comments. Um, and I hope you guys have a great and blessed day. And have a good night. Bye.